Thank you. Okay, hi everyone. Um, Therese and Arian from Vienna, from Austria. And um, yeah, so we're just quickly going to tell you a story of a bunch of 19 year old kids that started an architecture television show and how we ended up here today. So, um, yes, we were all first year students at a university and we heard about this great architecture world outside there in the world and we said, okay, we want to see them ourselves, not only on like lecture screens. So we went out and we had no idea about architecture, no idea about filmmaking, but we just went out there and just wanted to talk to architects, to politicians, to um, architecture museum directors and just like ask stupid naive questions about what we really wanted to know and we sort of recorded this to share it with our friends and with also people that weren't architects that didn't know a lot but we wanted to know something. So we started learning more about architecture, we started learning more about filmmaking and sort of we always had this approach, okay well, whatever we're interested in this we want to find out and this we want to do. So we don't see us as like architecture journalists that try to make like super com complicated questions and fight for the most um, most foreign words that no one understands, but really super straight questions and we get super straightforward answers. We even got um, a contract with the, with the Austrian television network and now for already nine years we are doing those interviews where we interview people that live in famous buildings um, interview famous architects that meanwhile have passed away, um, architecture museum directors. So sort of what we um, want to do is sort of um, get an overview of what is there, what, what architecture is. And this is actually how we learned about architecture, not so much at university, but through these films. And the funny thing is it worked out quite well and there were more and more people coming. and um, yeah, and then we thought, could this not only work in Austria where we are, but could this concept also work somewhere else? Are maybe other people also interested in architecture except Austria? <laughs> so, yeah, um, through the, the discovery and the enthusiasm of other people, um, Mies became an uh, international uh, project. So, yes, not only European, um, even more. So the idea went abroad and um, it developed local teams in the UK, in Slovakia, in France, in Germany, in the Netherlands and also in Mexico. Um, to that we were able to show different views from all over the world and with often very um, different approaches also to um, uh, same topics. Um, and having all these different teams from all over the world makes it also interesting to come together and create something um, together, yeah. So what other place uh, is perfect for this than the Architecture Biennale in Venice, where all the architecture people come together. So for several years now, we are um, going there and uh, documenting this event to show it um, people back home who might have never heard about it or trying to figure out um, whether to go or not and also give them uh, a sense of the idea and the stories that are being told there and um, also show them a little bit of backstage view about the pre-opening with the um, creme de la creme of the architecture scene. That's other colleagues of us. <laughs> um, okay, so next is um, we we always did like certain um, collaborations, but I want today I want to tell you about two special ones we uh, did uh, last year. So we got together with the Vienna Architecture Center um, to develop an idea. <laughs> And the project we uh, ended up with was called The Way We Live. 
and uh, it invited Viennese residents to uh, exchange their homes for one weekend uh, to kind of see their city from a different angle. And uh, we picked three swaps and um, documented them and followed them on their journeys in their so-called new home. Um, yeah. And uh, the second one is an international cooperation. So we got invited by the Tallinn Architecture Biennale to document uh, their uh, topic, which was Beauty Matters. And we uh, did interviews with the participants, which are not only architects, but also uh, mathematici mathematicians, neuroscientists, philosophers, and also the creator, um, Jael Reisner. And we interviewed them around the topic, uh, or the question, why does beauty matter? Um, the documentary already aired in Austria and in Estonia, and is currently being shown around Europe. And for example, in two weeks, it will be shown at the AA in uh, London. And then also in Estonia, we had the great chance to not only um, to not only make a documentary about this um, topic. So we did not just like so so we did not film the event, but we sort of made a documentary about the topic of the event. And um, as part of this, um, we also were leading and teaching a workshop at the Academy of Arts where together with international students sort of we taught them not only how to edit film but also how to tell architecture stories and, and how to talk and narrate this. And it was quite fun and, and like we really much enjoyed it doing workshops and teaching them how to make videos. So um, we don't stop at like the editing of the documentary but we also really want to think about how can we show the content and like on what platforms. So since day one, already for nine years, for every episode that we do, we have a cinema where we show and screen our documentary. And the funny thing is that these screenings don't only happen at the Austrian team, but also at the team in Mexico City and in Paris. And um, it's, it's, it's really fun how the architecture cultures are different from city to city, for example. This one is in Paris, and our, and our documentary is just like a little input, and then they start discussing and arguing for two, three hours. And it's really fun how the French people are really eager to like discuss everything. And then they even discuss while they have the red wine in the summer nights of Paris. And then we think, okay, how can we go even further with communicating architecture between non-architects and architects? And in the development area of Vienna, um, so. Now there is a um, skyscraper standing, but we made a festival where we thought, okay, how can we bring non-architects also to the topic of architecture? We made a festival where um, architects were giving lectures, bands were playing music, dan dancers were dancing, magicians were doing magic. And um, it was fun because the architects, they do not come with the black um, shirt, but they come with the um, shorts and their beer in the plastic cups and just a part of the festival. So, and this is why we see this future architecture platform as sort of like the next step of how we can sort of um, show and share our stories that we do um, with you guys and also in collaboration together. So um, beyond all the documentaries that we did about beauty, like how does beauty matter in architecture or about the way we live where people, non-architects swap their house, um, we're also super interested in working with you together to sort of go and dive into new topics and sort of tell the stories with video. And what's always super important for us is um, while we go deeper and deeper into the architecture material to never lose the hold of the surface and of non-architects because what we are super interested in is like telling sort of the stories of architecture to people that are sort of interested in architecture but don't understand all this intellectual stuff that we often um, get drawn into and to sort of bridge these two worlds, if you may say so. So, um, yeah, we're super looking forward for the other ideas that come and looking forward to all the platform and the potential that will be. Thank you.